Oh. 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 I had to get you back for that. <laughs> I had to get you back for that. I didn't even see that one coming, man. Y'all gotta delete that one. Delete? <laughs> yeah, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it out of Cut that one. I bet y'all gonna put this at like the beginning too, like <laughs> teasing everybody. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. <laughs> is at gabe.hoff if you want to follow my podcast it's at the reclassified ministries on instagram and we in this to the rim sir let's get it let's get it so we're doing a game to 15 twos and threes i mean sorry twos and ones run that back run that back run that back, <laughs> run that back. <laughs> all right so we're doing a game of 15 twos and ones interview style okay so sir let's do it you want to shoot football yeah, we can shoot the ball. You got it. Me? All right. Okay. Hi. I haven't shot in a minute. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's get it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. So one more time, what's the people? Oh yeah, so when I be hooping, I'm in interview mode here, I'm ball mode here. So right, what's, cool, the, what's cool. the name of the podcast one more time for the people? Uh, podcast name is The Reclassified. Reclassified, all right, recheck, recheck. Cause you said there was like um, a story behind that too. Yeah, yeah, it, so uh, I was originally class of 19, 2019 in high school, right. and then I reclassified to the class of 18. So I actually graduated. Oh, you did it earlier. Yeah, so I actually Bro. graduated a year early. Smart one. <laughs> Quick. Yeah, but that, and I, I didn't want to at first, man, because you you want to have your senior year, do all the senior stuff. Mm -hmm. But it's, you know, my parents, they kind of, I wouldn't say they forced me, but it was, it was their idea. So I trust my parents, so I just went along with it and then got to college. And then I just went through like a life change, became a man pretty much. So that's how the podcast kind of came about, just the reclassified how, it's like I reclassified into the next stage of my life. So yeah. that's how it okay. came about. Okay, I'll ride with that. Yeah, man. I miss you. We doing one shot or? Oh, uh, rebound, rebound. Rebound? Play through. Yeah. All right. This nigga, bro. Ah. Oh, it's making take it. My bad. Tweak it. Oh, not the FaceTime. Oh, nah. It's starting to come back. Oh, it's starting to come back, huh? Yeah, I just need to see one go in. <laughs> oh, got that. You good? Hey. one i get one good bucket so gabe where you from bro uh originally from indian trail born and raised living there my whole life uh, my parents are actually originally from liberia west africa oh where? yeah so they they came here the 80s 90s and then uh yeah i've been in indian trail my whole life still live there too okay Oh, give me that. Ah! <laughs> Dang. Means I gotta, I gotta start hustling, man. It kind of came my way, so I was like, eh, I'll take it. Ooh! <laughs> that breath in three! Fuck it. Niggas had Indian trail. So did you go to school like in the Charlotte area or somewhere uh, else? You know, I always went to school to place around Indian Trail, Monroe. Um, I'm talking about know, like for college. Oh, college. I went to UNCC, so Charlotte, yeah. Okay, okay. It was a nice school, man. It's growing a lot, so. Hey. Or else. 
Good luck, Eddie. What score? Um, that's six four. Six four. Six four. Uh, oh, uh, damn. Seven four. Okay, so the re reclassify podcast. What is it about? So it's it's uh faith based, but at the same time, it's just having people come on and we just have a conversation. Um, I think I told you before we started, it was originally called, I'm out of breath, dog, <laughs> already. <laughs> it was originally called uh, You Are Story. Right. Um, and the idea was to bring people on, guests, just tell their story, how it impacted their lives, their pivots and everything. Yeah. And then um, the reclassified, I rebranded it to that. And I do a lot more solo episodes now too. Yeah. So. I'm just there talking about a certain topic. It's mainly faith-based, but I kind of try to include like different cultural topics too. Like I'll talk about if something happens, I'll say, okay, this is kind of my opinion on this. And then just how I would navigate the situation if I was in that situation and stuff like that. So that's pretty much what it's about, man. Okay. Current events. Yeah, pretty um, much. Like I even wanted to do an episode about that whole uh, Drake, Kendrick, J. Cole beef. Yeah, but I didn't. I didn't get around to that. But even just talking about that, and it's still fresh, though. It know? is, still yeah. Fresh. So I, y'all may y'all may see an episode about that soon. Who knows? <laughs> Come on. Bad finish, though. Got to finish. Come on. Hey. Let me have it too. Ah. I gotta get my conditioning up. Ah, oh, the splat. Oh, there ah, we go. At least. <coughs> so I got seven or six. Huh? Uh, seven. I got oh. six. You got seven, I think. Six, seven. All right. Yeah, I know you want to get the shot off. We'll take it. Hey, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I ain't getting the rim real good, so I, I thought, don't even count it. I thought you were going to slam that one, man. A6. Oh. Ah. Hey, hold on. No? All right. Man. Nine, six. Oh. Dang, that's off right. Appreciate it. Not the cameraman with the assist. Ah. So do you have any uh, professional aspirations? Um, yeah, I've been, definitely want to continue doing engineering. I do civil engineering uh, full time pretty much. And, um, dog, oh, I'm out of breath. That's crazy. <laughs> um, but yeah, I want to keep going on in that. I also preach a little too. Oh, work? Yeah, yeah. I I've got been a doing minister that. with me. Yeah, man. Okay. Yeah, Still I've been. On me. My bad, bro. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I've been doing that since April of last year. Uh -huh. Uh, got like eight, nine sermons on my belt now. So, hello. Yeah, if y'all ever want to check me out, East City Church is right beside East Mech high school so yeah i mean i want to keep growing in that too uh i'm not sure where i'm being led with that yet but still figuring it out right right 
That's off left. At least I can feel where it's going. That's good. Got a sense of it. Oh. Hey. All right, I can't keep relying on that shot. Got to start getting to the I'm round. a lockdown defender, bro. I'm a defensive coach type deal, you know? I noticed that in high school, like, you were actually trying on defense. There's not a lot of people doing that nowadays, so. Yeah, for sure, for sure. All right, hello. I lost my bearings. Career aspirations. Do you want to turn this into, like, a career? Or... Uh, the podcasting? Yeah. Um, Just like long time. Learn long term. Yeah. I, long term. It's something I want to keep doing. It's something I want to keep doing for sure. If it starts gaining traction and making, you know, money and stuff like that. Of course. I definitely, at, at bare minimum, I want it to be like side, side hustle type thing. Okay. And eventually when it grows enough, bring someone on. To handle right. the editing and stuff because I, I do everything by myself right now. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So it, that's impressive. It's bro. time that's consuming, but once Told I'm, you. Smart. Smart. Once, I'm, once I'm able to bring somebody in to kind of help with the editing. Yeah. And all I gotta do is really like prepare the questions and go in and do it. Yeah. That's when I think it'll start kind of taking off a little bit. So okay. yeah. I man. think I think I think you got a good base. I have seen one of the episodes. Um I think you got a good base. Yeah, yeah. Just kinda keep grinding. There's a saying, beta this year, better next year. It may not be hot right now, but boy, wait till Gabe keep cooking up, man. Thanks. Uh, wait till he keep cooking up in the dang division. That's, that's what we're gonna do, man. Keep cooking it up, serving these hot, fresh plates, man. Uh, oh. uh, okay. Move. okay, I think that's What's 11. Coming? All right, gotta lock in. I think that's 11. 11, six. Yeah. Oh. Add on me. That hey, that young dude over there cooking for real, bro. Golly. Which one? That dude oh, cooking. Yeah. Looks like my brother, low key. Come on. Oh, come on. Oh! Ah. Damn. Oh, no hands. Butter fingers. Butter fingers. Oh. Ah. I just gotta, gotta see you. One more go in, man. Nah. Dang, that's off right. I'm hitching. That's you, man. Oh, we counting that. <laughs> Not counting that. <laughs> Jump ball. We counting that. Nah, 11-6. 11-6. We're going to 15? Right. All right. Oh, trying to nutmeg me? Hold up. Oh. That almost went in. Oh. 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 I had to get you back for that. <laughs> I had to get you back for that. I didn't even see that one coming, man. Y'all gotta delete that one. Delete? <laughs> yeah, cut it, cut it, cut, cut it out of the Cut tape. that one. I bet y'all gonna put this at like the beginning too, like <laughs> teasing everybody. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. <laughs> oh. uh. Uh. All right, we up. Oh, that hit my head. Hey. 
So what's something that's that going to... What's something that you plan on got to do that's going to separate you from the rest of everybody else, you know? Separate you from the pack. For one, I always tell people, like, when it comes to hard work, I'm always better on myself. I'm always trying to outwork everybody. Um, and it's not like a prideful thing. It's just, you know, I put hours, blood, blood sweat, and tears yeah. into everything I do, really. So excellence is the number one thing. But as far as what's going to separate me, man, um, I think a lot of people, their purpose is more about, like, fame, popularity. Yeah, fame, it's more so than, like, impact. Mm. So I'm trying to make sure that you know, I don't compromise my beliefs, compromise what I stand for, make sure that I'm actually sharing what I believe. You know, obviously, like I said, I'm a God-fearing man, so make sure I stay true to that. Right. And just saying things that people can actually take something away from instead of just entertainment, you know? So, and I know there's already a lot of people doing that, but I think that with my platform and kind of the whole purpose behind it that'll take it through the roof so it's just about vision and pulling yourself towards that vision so okay. yeah that's that's what it's about man Rechecking. Uh, 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 I think 14? that's 13 13 I think that's 13 all right man so what what goals this year do you got hold on goals this year so uh yeah i think it's important to write down your goals man make sure that you know them don't just go with the flow so uh i set out my goal for youtube is a thousand subscribers by the end of the year right, right now i think i'm at three 350. we up yeah and it quarter of the way or not third of the way there yeah so i think all it's gonna take is just that one video like y'all y'all's videos have been taken off so i think all it takes is that just that one video mm -hmm. that puts you on the map so once that one video hits man it'll it'll take off but for the podcast a thousand a thousand subscribers okay see the way you said talking about your goals and stuff you make it sound like it's more than a side hustle for real you say you betting on you you gotta bet on you man well, ain't that right the, keep the, shooting the way I, right. the way i look at it is like so as much as i like doing engineering that's my that's my job but like the podcast and everything that's like my work so I, I think there's a difference like your work is like it's something that you're just passionate about you'll you'll be willing to do it for free whereas your job you know you go there to get paid so uh i mean I, long story short like myself on the podcast that's who i am 24 7 so it's not even really like a side hustle. It's just what I do, if that, if that makes sense. Yeah. So, but I mean, if it grows, I always tell people, you know, if it, if it takes off, that's... No if, bro. That's you got to know thing. it. Yeah, so... You got to know it, bro. Yeah, we'll, we'll, see, we'll see where it goes, but... Yeah, I, I, I really do think it's going to take off. I do. If I hit that, that's crazy. Oh, okay. That didn't feel good at all. Oh, okay, my bad. Okay, um, so I'm coming up with this new type of thing. I'm gonna I'm start vetting people with, especially people like us of color. Yeah. yeah. And that's how are you creating wealth for others? And I'm not talking about just money. Yeah. I'll kind of explain it that a little bit, but how are you creating wealth? Yeah, I mean, they say uh, they say knowledge is power. I mean, knowledge can only take you so far. You actually got to apply it. That's how you get wisdom. Yeah. So, like, my number one goal in life is to grow in as much wisdom as I can. Because as much as I want to, like you were saying, as much as I want to be able to give my family stuff uh, materialistically, financially, yeah. wealth-wise, there's nothing more valuable than giving them tools to walk through life. So every day I'm just trying to learn something new get smarter in whatever way even if it's something as simple as you know how does a, a tree grow or something like that like taking baby steps and then by the time i'm you know have a family and stuff like that i want to be able to 
have so much wisdom that my kids, they don't have to question, question anything. I'll be able to give them the answer. And even if I don't have it, we'll figure it out together. So that, that's the main thing, man. Just I want to be able to teach people how to, how to fish, not just give them fish, if that makes sense. Yeah, I feel that. I feel so, that. yeah, that's, that's how I'm going to try and share wealth with people. I knew you was going for that shot. That was like, if I can just get one in. <laughs> now, the reason I asked that question is because, I don't know if you noticed, but Forbes wrote an article um, not too long ago talking about the wealth gap in America is substantial, right? Yeah. And it's estimated that people of color will be at net worth of zero, everybody, Damn. by 2030. You know, and there's only four ways that we can kind of close that wealth gap. One is investing in real estate. 80% of the wealth in America is, in, is made through real estate. Yeah. You know, that's eight out of 10, that's a lot. Um, the next thing is stocks. Typically, people of color, we think of stocks as kind of like gambling, yeah. you know? And it's not, I'll get it. But it's not, you know? You putting money into companies that are making money, then they gonna give you a dividend, a return on that. Yeah, yeah. And then the third thing is what you already doing, so, you know, I got a dang hats off to you, salute that for real. Appreciate is investing in yourself. Start an LLC, start a business. There's deductions that you get from that. Yeah, you know, yeah, there's ways facts. you can make that work for you. Facts. You know, and it's taxed differently. Right? And then the last thing is investing to the kids. So something you touched on too. Yeah. I rock with that. You say, you know, I want to be able to answer any question they have and what we don't know, we can go get it together. Yeah. You know, so that's and, why I asked that. And having my brothers helps out with that cuz with brothers that are that much younger than you, you're kind of forced to like set an example for them. So in a way it's like I want to do it now, but at first it was like, all right, I, it's something I have to do. Now it's something like I want to do. I want to give them knowledge. I want to help them, you know, navigate life and stuff like that. So yeah. that, that helps out for sure. And even with what you were saying with investing in businesses, that's something I've been looking to get into as well. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to reach out to you for some more advice on that, man, for sure. Of course. Bro. Open book. <sighs> Nope. Ah, that'll bounce too. Dang. Fudge. I gotta <clears throat> lock in. I'm still at six? Yeah. Damn. <clears throat> oh, hello. Ah. Oh. Ain't even gonna do you dirty off that one, but I ain't even gonna get you on that. Oh. Ah, that's off, right? God said that that's straight dead. in. Damn. Yeah. So <sighs> good. That I, straight in. I got. I got to come back. I got to get my get back. <laughs> I'm, Season I'm a, two, <laughs> reclassified podcast gonna be back, y'all. Check it Sir. out. Season two. Yeah, I appreciate y'all having me on, man. It, y'all doing. Y'all doing some good stuff, man. I've been. I've been locked in ever since. Ever since you reached out, man. I, su I support whatever, man. I support I support what y'all going on. This is unique. It's different. I haven't seen something like this before, like one on one and the interview. So glory to God. Yeah, y'all y'all keep doing what you're doing. Y'all y'all gonna y'all gonna be up for sure. Glory to God. Yeah, but appreciate y'all having me on, man. Y'all see y'all see me back. Just wait on it. I'm gonna come back. Y'all saw those first two shots go in. First three yeah, shots. So I got hot quick. Yeah, we'll we'll hot see, man. Quick, boy. <laughs> but check me out. Um, it's Goat 90s Kid. That's Goat 90 S Kid on IG. And check us out on AV, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. Like and subscribe, guys. Yeah, and make sure y'all go uh, follow The Reclassified. Uh, on Instagram, it's The Reclassified Ministries. And then YouTube and all of the streaming platforms, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, uh, YouTube, it's The Reclassified. Make sure to go check it out. Watch some of the interviews. Even if y'all want to be on, hey, hit me up. Hey, hit him up, bro. The Yama. <laughs> he, lot, he about to take off for real. He been doing it. He been putting in hours, minutes, seconds of pain. You know? Yeah. Thanks. Check him out. Yeah. Hey, we'll see, man. All right. See y'all. Peace out. Uh.